Uh, but anyway, our coaching staff, most of them are here. And uh, our guys do a super job uh, recruiting, coaching, uh, being involved in the community, everything they, they do is first class. And uh, we, we really have an excellent staff here. I want to introduce those guys real quick. Uh, Steve Jr., recruiting coordinator, wide receiver coach right here. Uh, raise your hand back there, coaches, so I can see a bunch of you. Kurt Botkin, linebacker coach, Deke Adams. D-line coach, G.A. Mangus, quarterback coach, Sean Elliott, O-line, Joe Robinson, special teams, John Hope back there, defensive coordinator, secondary guy, Coach Martin, hoop coaches back there, Scotty and Turk, a couple of quality control coaches. You mentioned uh, Scotty and Coach Horton. You, you've added a, bu a bunch of quality control guys. Four. Is that just the way the game is going now, or, or did you see something specifically that made you want to add those positions? I think every SEC school has at least four. Right. Some of them have six or eight. It's sort of unlimited from what I understand, uh, but I think four is plenty to tell you the truth. So uh, sometimes I look at those NFL coaching staffs. You know, they have between 24 and 28. I don't know. They all bump into each other somewhere along the way, I think. But uh, I think we got the right mixture. And, and, you know, we do have over 100 players in, on college football teams, and they only allow uh, nine assistant coaches. So 10 guys uh, for 100. At this point, getting ready to go into practice, what would you say is the one thing that concerns you personally the most? No, I don't try to worry about too much that you can't control. Uh, but obviously, we need to find a quarterback. We, we need to find a guy we can all hang our hat on, say this guy's a tough guy, he's got courage, he'll sit in the pocket, he'll take a hit, he'll bounce right back up, uh, he's in the game. Uh, we need to find that guy, uh, hopefully. And, you know, I'm hoping one of our quarterbacks will completely outplay the rest. And then it makes it simple for the coaches, very simple. Obviously, last year, Dylan was by far our best quarterback. He played just about every snap and stayed healthy the entire year. Uh, if, if we find one we think is the best, that, that might could happen. But if not, then, uh, you know, two or three quarterbacks could play. Just have to wait it out. Wait and see. You've mentioned the effort of last year several times, and again today. Mm -hmm. At what point last year did that start to bother you? Well, and I guess I mentioned it because that dang Auburn game was on TV the other day. I was on the treadmill walking, and the SEC channel had our, our game with Auburn on. Yeah. It was a little disappointing watching that. Uh, but again, uh, we all watched it. We, we all know that it, it wasn't good enough last year. So, uh, but, but as bad as it was, our guys did hang in there and win three of the last four games somehow. What are a couple of the things that you want to see specifically on the defensive side of the ball where you guys need to improve from last year? Well, did you guys – did you watch us last year? Uh, okay, okay. Well, you know we gave up more yards uh, than any team ever. Uh, but we've won seven games somehow. Uh, now, we got to tackle. we got to tackle. we got to be in position. we got to be tougher up front. we got to tackle in the secondary. we got to take better angles when a guy breaks a line of scrimmage. Uh, I mean, that – Fullback for Furman when he broke that one, we, we couldn't catch him either. So hopefully we can take a better angle and uh, full back up the middle. Won't go for 50 yards against us this year like, like it did last year, things of that nature. Uh, but we, we should be much improved. Has John Hope brought what you hope to to the defense? So far? Well, we hadn't played yet. Yeah. You know that, don't you? I do. Yeah, we hadn't played yet. Yeah, we hadn't played. We hadn't played anybody yet. No, John and I were together, as all of you know, three years down at Florida. We led the conference the last year in total defense, scoring defense. Um, we both went to the NFL. He lasted 13 years, and I lasted two. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's worked out. We're going to be better coached all the way around. And, and I think it's good that Coach Ward and Coach Adams are working with the D-line and linebackers. We got three coaches uh, with the front seven. I think last year we only had two. Uh, but those D-line guys are important, as we know. And Deke's a heck of a coach. He had two All-Americans the year before. But uh, we, we need a lot of eyes on those guys at, at all times. So we've, we've, I think, strengthened our coaching staff uh, in the front seven.